It's time to work on your fractions. Ah, oh, Mom, I'll do it after the Groovin' Gourmet. Okay, but right after. Thanks, Mom. Cool, man. I love the Groovin' Gourmet. He's the greatest. It's time for the show that's at least 3.14 times better than any of those other cooking shows. That's right, babies. You found the answer to all of your disco cooking questions. Live from Studio 6 and 111, the one, the only, Groove and Gourmet. The Groove Tronics off its game today, and I'm going to need the help of you, my Groovacious audience, to figure out how much of each ingredient to add. Now let's make oven baked better than disco, fast and easy, orange crisp. Let's boogie. Cool, baby, cool. This recipe is counting on you to tell me how many tablespoons of water it needs. Let's boogie! Groovy, baby! Hip me to how many teaspoons of cloves I need. <laughs> Let's boogie! If you don't tell me how many tablespoons of oregano I need, this recipe will definitely not be groovy. <laughs> Let's boogie! Out of sight. We could really get this dance floor grooving if we just knew how many cups of oven baked better than disco fast and easy orange crisp mix from Blitco, of course. We need the dance floor we're really cooking now we're one quarter of the way there now let's make barbecued far out funky creamy black bean pie let's get this show cooking baby tell me how many cups of flour I need Let's boogie! You earned a celebration for that calculation, baby. If you don't tell me how many cups of water I need, this recipe will definitely not be groovy. Let's 
Let's Boogie. Baby, you're one fine numerator manipulator. If you don't tell me how many tablespoons of chives I need, this recipe will definitely not be groovy. Feel the fraction funk. <laughs> Let's boogie. Far out. How many teaspoons of peppercorns go into this radical recipe? <laughs> Let's boogie. Oh, yeah. Do a little brain boogie and tell me how many cups of barbecued, far out, funky, creamy, black bean pie mixed from Blitco, of course, I need. Get on down with those. Put the action in fraction, baby. We're halfway there. Now we're going to make crumbly, greasy, fast and easy, superb, broccoli, mousse. Do a little brain boogie and tell me how many tablespoons of flour I need. Let's boogie. We're the fraction faction, baby. How many cups of water go into this radical recipe? Let's boogie. Cool, baby, cool. Let's get this show cooking, baby. Tell me how many tablespoons of rosemary I need. Let's boogie. Oh, yeah. How many teaspoons of savory go into this radical recipe? <laughs> Let's boogie. How many cups of crumbly, greasy, fast and easy, superb, broccoli, mousse, mixed from Blitco, of course, go into this radical recipe? baby we're three quarters of the way there today we're going to make curried diet sweet and sour crumbly truffle gelatin how many tablespoons of flour go into this radical recipe <laughs> let's
that's boogie. Far out. Tip me to how many cups of water I need. You're one out of sight denominator investigator. Audience, could you be truly groovacious and tell me how many tablespoons of pepper I need? Baby, you're one fine numerator manipulator. Let's get this show cooking, baby. Tell me how many tablespoons of poppy seeds I need. Right on, baby. Do a little brain boogie and tell me how many cups of curried diet, sweet and sour, crumbly, truffle, gelatin, mixed from Blitco, of course, I need. Right on, baby. Now let's make fat free, crunchy, crispy onion au gratin. How many tablespoons of flour will it take to make my groove tronic groovy? Now we're going to make diet. Today we're going to make sugar coated luscious. Today we're going to Today we're going to make diet. Toast. Now we're going Now we're Today we're going Now today now 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 we're going to make spicy. Ju now let's now to now to, to now let's make super fly. Caramelized funky diet. Tomato skillet. Let's get this show cooking, baby. Tell me how many tablespoons of flour I need. <laughs> Let's boogie. Clear the dance floor. We're really cooking now. If you don't tell me how many cups of water I need, this recipe will definitely not be groovy. <laughs> Ooh, that was not funky or fresh, baby. Now let's make juicy devil. That's a very ungroovy smell, baby. Today we're going to make seven layers. Super healthy Brussels sprout crumble. Tip me to how many cups of flour I need. In this game, you'll help make groovacious recipes by solving the equation that appears in the black equation location box in the lower portion of your screen. Enter your answer by clicking on one of the four groovin' green answer boxes. To really turn up the difficulty or tone down the toughness, click on one of the yellow arrow buttons.
to exit this game, click on the red exit button. This will take you to the game selection screen where you can choose another game, use the groove and glossary, or quit the game entirely. To turn off the jive and background music, click on the music note. Ooh, I'm on fire. Do the hit and hustle. My groove tronic isn't so groovy today. While it tells me how much of each ingredient to add and how much I've already added, it's not telling me how much I still need to put in. Baby, can you give me a hand? Today we're going to make superb, chunky, orange, surprise. How many cups of... <laughs> Let's boogie. Oh yeah. If you don't tell me how many tablespoons of water I need, this recipe will definitely not be groovy. Two fat, two delicious disco decimals. The Groove Tronics off its game today. And I'm going to need the help of you, my Groovacious audience, to figure out how much of each ingredient to add. Now we're going to make melt in your mouth. Juicy tofu tarts. If you don't tell me how many cups of flour I need, this recipe will definitely not be groovy. <laughs> Let's boogie. <laughs> Baby, make this recipe jive. Tell me how many we could really... Let's get this... How many cups of water will it take to make my Groovetronic groovy? How many cups of water? Two fat frack... If you can solve these funkadelic brain teasers, you'll be the groovinest audience I've ever had. Now we're going to make Superfly. No bake, curry, lyonnaise. Hit me to how much of my super fly pizza pie is left. <laughs> you earned a celebration for that calculation, baby. You'd be almost as groovy as I am if you could tell me how much of my Superfly pizza pie is left. <laughs> Let's boogie. Out of sight. You'd be almost as groovy. <laughs> Let's boogie. <laughs> Baby, you're one fine numerator manipulator. You'd be almost as groovy as I am if you could tell me how much of my Superfly pizza pie is left. <laughs> Let's boogie. Clear the dance floor, we're really cooking now. You'd be almost as groovy as I am if you could tell me. <laughs> you 
put the action in fraction, baby. We're one quarter of the way there. Now, now we're going to make. Today we're going to make pungent, superb meringue, lyonnaise. Hit me to the volume of the remaining pieces of my boogie baked disco cake. That's boogie. You're one out of sight denominator investigator. Hit me to the volume of the missing slices of my boogie baked disco cake. I think we have some rotten ratios, baby. Today we're going to make superb, better than disco, spicy, fresh, mustard, pate. You'd be almost as groovy as I am if you could tell me the volume of the remaining pieces of my boogie baked disco cake. Too fat, crack the delicious, abuse the groove and glossary. Pie is my favorite number as well as my favorite dessert. For dessert, I like rhubarb and chocolate. As a number, it just doesn't get any better than this. First off, pie has been around for a very long time. It has been used since at least 2000 BC, babies. Second, pie is what we call an irrational number. This means that it's a decimal that never ends. But don't let that freak you out, baby. That makes pi all the friendlier. Because however you decide to define pi, you're always rounding off. Even if you used all several billion known digits. In our kitchen, we define pi as 3.14. Much easier to remember that, isn't it, my groovacious friends? Two fat fractions to the hidden hustle. 